uh, this past weekend, you had a you had a heck of a weekend. Yeah, I mean, uh, I had a rough night, kind of uh, Friday night against St. Cloud. I mean, I made some defensive errors, and it kind of cost us. So, I, but thankfully, I came out uh, Saturday night and had some lucky shots that went in. So. Is it one of those things? You mean? You say that uh, you made some mistakes out there. It almost sounds like, in a small way, you might be a little bit more of a perfectionist as far as focusing on the things that you didn't do versus the things that you did do well. Yeah, I mean, I had a couple points, but I, I, there were a couple goals that were kind of my fault. So, I, I mean, I took some responsibility for that, and I readdressed myself that night. And um, I, I took kind of hard. Saturday night we came out hard, which is nice. What does it say about the team that uh, loses on a Friday and then forgets about it and comes back on Saturday and then plays well? Yeah, I mean, in college hockey, that's huge to, to forget about Friday night if you lost. So, um, I mean, hopefully we can put together a better Friday night this weekend. I mean, the past two weekends, we really haven't come out like we want to do on Friday night. So hopefully we can do that this weekend. Don said he's not surprised that you're playing well right now. Are you surprised a little bit? Um, I, I mean, from last year, I, I, a little bit. I wouldn't expect this kind of year. I, the year I had last year wasn't the greatest. So, I mean, um, yeah, it, it's fun having this this kind of a start. So hopefully you keep it going. What would you do over the summer to kind of get you ready for what's going on with you right now? Uh, we trained pretty hard. Uh, the whole team, we all worked really hard in the summer, skated a lot, and uh, shot a lot of pucks. So I, I think that's the main difference. What do think you're doing better now than, than compared to last year? I think uh, it's just my mental game, just telling myself I can do it, um, as opposed to playing on my heels and just kind of being nervous for the game. So I'm um, trying my best every game and getting shots on that is the key. What made you nervous? Uh, well, I mean, I watched the Gophers growing up my whole life, and I mean, it was kind of surreal being in a Gopher jersey the first half of the year, and then uh, I guess I kind of figured it out a little bit, but. Um, it, it's a little different game than high school, so that's probably what made me nervous. <laughs> Nick, why do you think you guys have been so good in the third period this year? Uh, we've been working hard, uh, really hard, and in practices, conditioning a lot, so I think that's the main difference. We, we don't take it easy at practice at all, and uh, we got a lot of hardworking guys, good, good leaders that um, set the tempo for us. Kyle Rao credits you and Zach with talking to him after every shift. How accurate is that? Uh, uh, no, I mean, no, we don't really have to talk to Kyle. I think he's good mentally himself, but uh, sometimes he, he'll get down on himself. But, I mean, it, I think that's how he plays. When he gets mad, I think he plays even better. So um, I think we kind of figured out just to let him be. And he, like North Dakota, he was not saying anything, and he came up third period and got the game-winning goal. So, I mean, I, th I think that's just his mentality. He plays a little better when he's angry. <laughs> You mentioned you were kind of disappointed by something defensively didn't go right for you. You want to be known as still a good defender and as well as being a scorer? Yeah, I, I think I, I take pride in being a two-way player. So um, those defensive areas kind of got in my head. I mean, I was pretty upset about that. So um, we, we watch video and we make sure it won't happen again. You were three for three Saturday. Anybody in the room tell you to shoot more? Uh, no, I, I don't know. I just I, I didn't really get that many shots. I guess three for three. So they were going in for me. A little puck luck for me. So that was fun. Coach says you're getting the puck on the uh, on the net a lot more than you did last year. Do you is it, do you, do you see it the same way? Are yeah, you, you getting hitting the net more. Yeah, I agree. I was missing the net a little bit last year, and I I just wasn't getting as many shots. That's the key. Um, just getting as many shots as you can and you know, taking opportunities you can get. So You guys had like 10 odd men rushes uh, Friday uh, and I don't, you didn't get a shot most of the time. Was that, did you guys talk about that a lot or was that frustrating for you guys? Yeah, it was pretty frustrating. I mean, uh, we, we coaches talked about that definitely. I mean, there were a lot of two-on-ones that we passed up. Um, their D's made some good plays, but um, we gotta, I think we got to start shooting a little more. We got a lot of unselfish guys, which is good, but um, getting shots on that is also important. How do you count for that getting more shots for yourself? What's, what's different now? Uh, just finding openings. Uh, I mean, you got to get in open spaces, and you find those open spaces, and that's where you're going to get the shots.